interrupted. What does that mean? G is not interrupted. Our purpose is um, multifold. One is to enhance their overall genetic literacy of the work that we do and the significance of genetics in their personal lives as well. But we are also serving to introduce students to careers in the life sciences. And so we're exposing them very early to the skills, to the techniques, to the educational requirements that will enable them to have careers and professions in our field in the future. I came to this camp because I have an interest in going into the medical field of study and uh, I thought learning genetics would be a great opportunity. Um, I took biology in my freshman year and chemistry last year. I'm taking AP chemistry next year and uh, I thought this would be a great way to enhance my learning experience and learn more over the summer. This is possibly something that I would want to study in college and intro to. We have a slide that we show them at the end of uh, our introductory talk in which we list all of the various positions here at our facility. So they could be, certainly become lab technologists, which you see here in our molecular lab, lab directors, research scientists, genetic counselors, clinicians, nurses, um, bioinformaticists to analyze the sequencing data that comes out of the new technology. So there's a whole host of opportunities available, and that's one of the purposes. They often stop at doctors and nurses. They don't know about all of the other fields that are very significant. I always thought it was interesting. My friend actually introduced me to it. She wants to do genetic counseling, so I was like, oh, that sounds cool. Then started doing some more research on it, the different career, career fields, and um, I love biology. I think it's really interesting how the chemical reactions in the body and all the traits are passed down genetically. We have our outreach program which consists of our mobile lab. We're going to be adding um, a transit van to the program this year which will allow us to uh, carry equipment into the schools and um, do the same lab activities so there's no loss in, in what they'll be able to do. Do the same lab activities within the school setting. Um, we hope that this will allow us to serve more schools and to eliminate the wait list that we have. Um, also part of our outreach, we have our genetic education center here, and so schools that can make field trips can come here. But we also work with our community groups as well, so we have adult groups who come and use our facilities and we'll do introductory talks and tours with them. We have um, a community <laughs> lecture series that we run uh, in the fall and winter. Um, it's called Science on Tap, so we provide a series of lectures um, open to the community. And um, so really our education is, is a wide spectrum, beginning at yeah, seventh grade, all the way through postdocs, medical residents, and then um, our general public in the community.